Well, good morning, everybody. Hi and welcome. So today we're just going to show you a quick and easy chest opener, hip opener. I want you guys to just calm down onto the ground. If you've got some yoga blocks, you guys, this, these are amazing tools, so make sure you get some, okay? They're really good for <clears throat> not only if you can't get into the positions, it's good to stretch in a different position. <clears throat> Excuse me, so you're not stretching <clears throat> the same position all the time. Because if you stretch the same position all the time, your body gets used to it, and you don't want that. You want to keep, keep your body active in different ways, okay? So we're going to just hold the blocks out like this, okay? Shoulder width apart, and you're just going to let your arms come forward so that your the hands are this baby in the center of it. <clears throat> And you're just holding yourself down. You're pushing your shoulders down and back here. Squeeze your abdominals and squeeze your glutes and come feel yourself all of a sudden you start to get stronger. Your legs get stronger, so squeeze those legs. And you're just gonna squeeze the right side and then switch it over to the left. Okay, you're stretching out the inner thigh here in his hip flexor, squeeze it in, okay, now from here you're just going to do a gentle flow, I want you to close your eyes, and connect with your breath here, we're going to connect with the body, so start at the top of the head, alright, Bring out lights, warm healing lights, and circulate it down your body. Work it left and right. Squeeze and release those muscles. Now keep them squeezed and continue flowing. Just moving the hips, rolling left and right here. And you want to go slow. Let's get a little more movement in the hip. Stretch it out. And move it back to the right. Push it in. Wherever you feel you have blockages. All right, so we're gonna come up onto the hands and we're gonna push the blocks out a little bit farther. And we're gonna put our hands on the blocks and lower our elbows down to the ground. So drop down, your chest is going on the ground. You can have your chin rest. If you can't get your chin, you can roll onto your forehead like this. Good, both work. Put your chin down. And then you try to lower the shoulders down to the ground. Keep everything engaged, squeeze the legs, move the hips left and right. Okay, back to center and slowly come up. All right. From here, we're going to bring the legs together and we're going to move the blocks out of the way and you're going to do the same thing. So this is a different variation of the same pose. All right, so your legs are a hip width apart and you're doing the same thing and just drop your hand down, put your hand down in front and then work to slowly lower to the ground. Take a couple breaths. Keep everything squeezed. 
and then slowly drop back and roll the head. You want to round up. Lower down, deep breath in, deep breath out, keep the abdominal squeezed, round it up, round it down. Really spread out the shoulder blades, push them out. Keep everything engaged, core tight. And then from here, you're going to round in back up. All right? And that's basically a tabletop. And from here, you're just going to make sure that your Hands are placed right. You want to go fingertips, palm, wrist. And we're just going to warm up the wrist a little bit. Open, turning left and right. Left and right. <clears throat> okay, now here we're going to sit back down on the feet and drop the arms, drop the head, and we're going to stretch the neck. So you're going to just twist and turn out, keep the core engaged, legs engaged. And back to the other side, stretch out the neck, and then drop the head down, round the shoulders, and come back up, okay? From here, let's move the hands forward just one step, and we're just going to lower down and push back up. Keep everything squeezed. Lift the feet off the floor, squeeze the legs, squeeze the abdominals, squeeze those glutes, roll those shoulders down and back. Deep breath in, stretch out your abdominals. Head back. And just breathe here. Imagine the white light going through every single part of your body, wherever you're tight. So squeeze, 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 keep lifting, and then let gravity pull you down, but keep squeezing. Deep breath in, and then we're gonna round back up, back around. Drop it down. Stay for a couple exhales. Keep everything squeezed and roll up. And do it again. <clears throat> Deep breath in, roll it down. Squeeze everything. Drop the head. Slowly roll it back. Drop it down. And 
slowly roll it down. Drop the hand. Do some neck circles. And the other way. Drop your knees, elbows down, push the knees back, stretch out the back, deep breath in. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the legs, push the shoulders down and back. Imagine that light going down your spine, push it out through all the fibers of your mind. Deep breath in, deep breath out, keep your shoulders pressed down and back, expand that energy out to all the fibers of your body, wherever it's sore, this is where you want to go. Push that energy. Now here we're going to just move left and right. And just let your body move how it needs you to move. It's going to take you into those tight areas. Right away. So into the sides. Into the neck. Into the shoulders. Drop it down. And then we're going to roll the hips here. Okay, make sure your hand placement is correct. Fingertips, palm, wrist. And if this is too much on your lower back, you guys can drop down too onto this, your elbows. It's a great way to so it would just roll from side to side in this case. All right, and then if you're up, you're rolling side to side. Just getting a deeper stretch. Keep everything squeezed so that you don't go out of your range of flexibility. Drop it down. Now, from here, I want you guys to just kind of adjust yourself so that you can only lift your leg up very gently. And just go up as high as you can. You might not be able to go all the way up like this, okay? Because it does feel kind of funny on the knee. So you can practice doing different things. Up on your feet. Move your toes. Flex those toes. You're going to try to get the feet moving. A lot of people have compressed feet. Okay? That comes from wearing shoes that are too small. All right? So a lot of people like the shoe and they're like, oh, I want to get it. It squishes their feet together. So that changes the shape of your foot. It also causes lower back pain and 
uh, plantar's fascia, if you guys have got that, you need to stretch out the bottoms of your feet. So this is a great way to do it. Okay. You're stretching out the bottoms of your feet. Let's lower down to the elbows because that is a little on the back. It's a little hard on the back. So come down and just flip up your feet and you're just going to rock side to side. Just getting that mobility. You're working the ankles. Keep the legs squeezed. Glutes squeezed, core tight. <laughs> <laughs> Left and right, keep going. You guys are doing great. Okay, now we're gonna walk the feet in and out. So just kind of putting a little bit of pressure on the toes, but you're gonna feel it's kind of massaging a little bit. It's kind of like, okay, now flip the feet out and lift them up. Point and flex. Three. Four, five, six, keep everything squeezed, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Windshield wiper in those legs. Okay, bring the legs up a little bit higher and lower. So what we're doing here, the reason why your knees feel funny when, you, when you're up and you can't lift them. So if you do here, you're going to feel what muscle is pulling on is your quads. So the legs, the knees can't work right if you have tight quads. So we're working on getting the quads stretched out here. Right? And you see how easy it is to do when you're laying down, but then as soon as you try to go up, you're strengthening, you're stretching the quad muscle. And that's why you can't, you can't bring your leg up because it's, it gets tighter when you raise up. All right. So here we can point and flex the feet. Point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Keep everything squeezed, You're connecting to your legs. Really stretch out those toes. Open them up if you can while you're doing it. Let's just flex here, point those toes. Open them up. If you can't do it, don't, don't worry. It will come with practice. You just have to keep doing it. All right, bring the feet down, flex and point. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do some circles. Rotate the circles. Keep the legs squeezed and go very slowly. Deep breaths in and out. Two. Three, four, five, six, and go back the other way. Bring the feet up, flex and point. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Flex, point. Two, three. Four, five, six, 
seven, keep it squeezed, eight, okay? Now you'll feel it very quickly, you're gonna feel it in your toes when you put your toes down, flexion here in the toes, bring it up, point the toes, point and flex, just move your feet here, point and flex, you're getting your toes active, Okay, don't worry if you can't move them. I, my toes were completely frozen, so I still have lots of work to do with them. But you can see that I can finally start to move them. Push down, flex. Down, flex. Drop the feet down. Let's go back up to those toes. It feels kind of funny when you, when you get into a toe that's not working right. It feels kind of numb. Usually it's the outside, the pinky toe, and the one beside that are the worst ones. They feel kind of funny. So just, just work on gentle flexion. You can also get invest in some toe spreaders. I have the silicone ones. It's like a stretchy. You can get like the foam ones too that you just uh, put between your toes and just stretches them out a bit. And you don't have to put them on for very long. Maybe like five minutes to start. Every couple of days. I, I use mine just before bed. I put it in for maybe 10 minutes while I'm breathing. So. Uh, and then if you're going to do the toe spreaders, uh, you guys really need to invest in new shoes. You need to go and get your foot measured. And, you know, leave a little bit of extra room. Well, as we get older, people always wonder why they lose, lose height. How come I'm getting shorter? Well, what's happening is everything is in your body is compressed. The same thing happens with your feet. So when you start to stretch out your body, you're going to get taller. And you're gonna, if you're doing it with your feet, your feet are going to stretch out. So make sure you have proper shoes to, to fit your feet. I like the ones the open toes uh, and adjustable so that you can adjust the strap to your foot so it's not squeezing it. All right, put the feet up, squeeze. Squeeze the glutes here on the legs. Now we're gonna walk the feet. Just over to the left and the right, okay? Just go as far as you can. Okay, now we're gonna hold this side. And I want you to take your arm and I want you to pull yourself over, slide it, keep everything squeezed. But use that elbow to get a deeper stretch. Keep everything engaged so you don't overextend. And let's just take five breaths. Imagine that white light going into that really tight area on your side. Wrap around the tightness. And push the tightness out of the body. And then from here, we're going to come back to the center. And we're going to walk the legs over to the other side. And you're going to really feel that in the lower back. Do the same thing on this side. <clears throat> Stay up, push your elbow and turn gently. Twist it down. Keep everything engaged, squeeze the legs. Squeeze the core. It's 
squeeze the glutes. All right, and then back to center. Now bring the legs up and down, and now we should be able to come up and you should be able to get your legs up a little bit. So from here, I just want you to squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes, and just lift up as high as you can. Flex the feet. And just do little pulses. Squeeze and release. Deep breaths in and out. Keep breathing. <laughs> Keep breathing. All right, here we're going to lower it down, point the toes, and now I want you to come down, stretch out the back. And then here we're going to take a deep breath and squeeze that abdominal, squeeze the glutes, and roll up. Now this is a hard one. Do it. You can do it. Roll it up. Stay right there and let that stretch out. Shoulders down and back. Head down. Stretch out the neck. Keep the core tight. Legs engaged. Deep breath in and then slowly push the hips back. Deep breath in. <clears throat> Walk the hands back as you sit down, stretch it out. Deep breath. So you feel that area, right? The whole back. So that muscle that we're feeling is called the psoas muscle. Everybody thinks it's your, you know, I mean it's your lower back, but it's a huge muscle that wraps, connects underneath the ribs at the top, goes down the entire back, and it wraps around the hips, but it goes on the inside of the hips at the back. And that's the muscle that we're feeling. So you feel how tight it is right now? That's because it never gets used. And that position that we did and walking the feet is a great position to get into there and move it. But obviously it hasn't been used for a while, so um, it just takes time. And it should, you might feel like just if breathe into it, it shouldn't feel pain, but it's gonna feel really tight. All right, and that's, Kind of like your the core button in there. That's kind of like your life spark right there. So if you can get into that area and get it moving again, you're gonna feel so much better. It's gonna that's like your total reconnection. Okay, so it does take a little bit of work. All right, from here I want you just to drop down onto the right side. We're just gonna stretch that out. Okay, and it should start to feel better now that we're not, we're just getting life into it, breathing oxygen, getting it moving, All right? Keep everything squeezed here. You got your hand to the side and you're pushing forward, you're stretching out that hip. You should feel it starting to open up back there. Breathe in the oxygen, put it through all the tightness and you want to dissipate that area, so. And the further you can come around, you can move your hands to the side as it opens. As it opens, the pain comes out and the area opens, okay? Then you can stretch. When it doesn't hurt anymore like this, then you want to give it a little more, move your arm. A look, just to adjust so that you're stretching a little bit deeper. Okay? 
really stretch on that side. It feels really tight now because you got to another point where it's like, whoa, it's super tight here. Okay, these are little hidden areas in our body that we're storing all of our stress and our stuff we don't let out, like bad things that happened to us when we were kids and um, traumatic things, stuff we might not remember. But all these things, all these emotions that we have and we're we're taught from society to suppress them. We, we suppress them, but we suppress them in our body, in our organs, in our tissues, and that's what makes us sick, along with all the processed food that we're eating, all the preservatives in the food. So if you can switch your diet and get to, you know, healthier food, drink that, all that water, get the apple cider vinegar to get the bacteria out, Okay, we're coming back down now, and you might have some popping in your back, in your neck, maybe in your shoulders. From here, I just want you guys to pick yourselves up, back to the center, and we're just going to drop over to the left side now, because we have to stretch that side out too. So same thing, wherever it's tight, just imagine that light going in there. Keep everything squeezed, and then you can work on coming up and working over. And you might notice that this side might open up quicker than the other side. Keep everything squeezed. Okay. Coming down, stretch down. And then back to center. And then from here, we're just going to bring the knees open a little bit. And we're just going to move from right to left. Keep everything squeezed. You're going to feel this on the inner thigh and your pelvis around that back psoas. You might feel it a little bit. Keep your core engaged. Keep the legs squeezed. All right, and then from here, you're gonna slowly come up into an upright position, stretch the hips back, and then come back down. And then from here, I want you guys to come up into a pigeon pose, so keeping everything engaged. I want you to bring your foot up in between your shoulders or between your arms. And you're just gonna walk it over and you might need to bring it down beside you to sit down, all right? And then kind of, you might not be able to get up. You might be like right down here, but you can feel it opening up that psoas muscle in the back, okay? Now this one, you guys want to practice doing stuff. Okay, so keep the legs squeezed, the glutes squeezed. You can pick the toe up if you want to work on working the toes. Okay, and that just takes time. The more you work with your feet, the more you're going to notice the pain's going away. Feet can be very sensitive, and that's a sign that your feet are compressed. If they're really sore, okay? Back and forth here like so. We're going to rock back and forth. Deep breath in and out, stretching out that hip flexor, inner thighs, the psoas, we're working the feet here, you're working the calves, and we're going to do some upper body work too. So just lower and come up while you're doing it. So hold everything firmly, squeeze everything, every single muscle in your body. Push that white light from the top of your head down through the center of your core. Visualize it going in there, white light, all the way down your spine, out down your tailbone, out your legs. Grounding your foot that's upright, like roots in the ground. Really secure it in there. And back and forth. 
hold it up and we're gonna come up and down with the arms here work the arms make sure your fingers are right fingertips palm wrist push down to the fingers working some upper strength keep the core tight four five six seven eight drop it down and then knees down we're going to flip that foot out flex and point do some circles okay and you will feel when you do your foot you'll be like oh my god that hurts okay and that's just because it's not moving all right couple things with the pigeon pose you can work on okay you guys can go this way and get it out to be parallel in front of you. Roll the shoulders down and back. Drop the head back. forward squeeze the core here squeeze the glutes squeeze the legs whenever you forget just come back to it okay what this squeezing does it gets the muscle active you're breathing that white light down the center. Now we're going to expand it from the center anywhere that it's tight. Okay, we're just pushing it out. So imagine the light coming out through your brain, going through all the crevices and molds and all that tissue in your brain. Through your eyes, your nose, your ears. Out your lips. Make yourself like a radiant light. So you're pushing all that energy out, all that dark. Okay, slowly push yourself up higher and higher. And you can work on coming up and down. This gets all that movements and that psoas moving. Keep your arms strong, shoulders down and back. And go your own pace. You might not want to go fast like I am. You might want to slow it down a bit. Drop the head back. Push the chin out. And then maybe drop it forward. Maybe you want to come right over the leg. Stretch that lower back. It's very tight in there. You can see just how changing the leg. Changing that angle of the leg changes the tightness in your body in certain areas. And so it's kind of like, it's kind of like a puzzle. You have to figure out in your body where it's tight, what, what's being blocked. And if you can do that and work with yourself, reconnect with your body, your body's going to tell you what's wrong with it. And if, you know, in some cases, you might be able to cure yourself if you've got, you know, diabetes or cancer. Changing what you eat, changing how you move and take care of yourself, how you think. Get your body active again. It's going to work out all those blockages, okay? So you're the miracle. Everybody has this ability to heal themselves. You just have to want to, you know, push back. All right. And then if you're a little bit more advanced and you want to try to get things a little bit more stretched out, you can take a block and put it underneath your leg and then roll up onto that. Roll up onto that. It just changes the angle a little bit. Okay. Uh, 
And then from here, we're going to walk the leg back down. And we're going to come back up. And then we're going to come back up into that forward position. Okay, we're going to walk the foot forward a little bit. And now I want you just to stretch the hamstring. So stretching out the back of that leg that was just folded. All right. So flip the foot up. And your heel might be sensitive, so just go very slow here. Back and forth. Check your alignment with your hands. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. All right, now we're going to shift forward and work that hip flexor. Deep breaths in and out, keep everything engaged. Just turn the leg down your spine, around the back, through the shoulder blades, back of the neck. Dropping down. You're gonna roll the heel back and forth. Squeeze the abdominals. Okay. And then from here, I want you to come back and we're gonna do the other side. So same thing. Bring it up. We're going to stretch out that hip flexor. Come forward. Really stretch things out here. Keep the legs engaged. Stretch it back. I'm going to stretch the hamstring on this side before I do the pigeon pose. I feel like this side is a little bit tighter, so and sometimes you'll do that when you stretch one side, then the other side will feel like tight. It'll feel tighter because it's not stretched yet, so that's good, right? All right, we're going to bring that leg down, drop down, come down onto the shoulders, elbows. Bring the foot up and just going to get that moving a little bit, left and right. Lift up the toes, engage the legs, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs. Come up to your elbows or your hands. Work on sitting upright. Drop it down, pushing back. Drop the head. out. Just sit back again. Alright, 
right, this is a wonderful exercise and routine to open your hips, open your feet, and basically opening your life force, your life. You start doing this, you guys are going to change your lives. And it's for the better, you're going to make yourselves feel better. Right, make a choice. You make the choices in your life to change who you are. Stretch back. All right. Now, from here, if you want to go a little higher, you can put that block under the leg. Just changes the angle of the leg a little bit. And you might have to play with the block, move it till it's comfortable. You can also use pillows, which are a little easier on your body. Okay. And now I want you guys to lift up your leg. Okay, it might feel a little bit funny on the knees, so just go as far as you can. Just lift the leg if you need to, but just see, you should have a little more range of motion there in the foot, in that quads. Now you can feel pulling on the quad. So let's stretch the quads, okay? Bring your feet around. You're just gonna lean back, okay? Squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. Shoulders down and back, drop the head, push the chest up. Push the pelvis up, round. We're going into camel pose. Walk the hands forward. And then walk the hands out and come down. Keep everything engaged, squeeze. And from here, I want you guys to just drop down onto your elbows if you can. You might not be able to, you might have to stay up. Okay, but this is a great way to stretch out those quads. Mine are really tight. Okay, you can really feel it at the knees. If it's a little too much, just come up, okay? You can also take a block and sit on it, like that, if it's easier for you. Um, these can be really painful if they're super tight, so just take your time wherever you are. Drop it back down. And the block makes it a lot easier. You're not straining your lower back. Drop the head. And just relax. Deep breath in and out. Push the chest up to the ceiling. Keep everything engaged. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the legs. Now we're gonna just roll the hips here, left and right. hips right push it to the right stretch the side then push it to the left stretch that side and then slowly come up come forward and you want to pull that block out and from here we're just gonna kind of sit down bring your leg in front of you Kind of like, like so. All right. Squeeze the legs. 
And you're just going to rotate. Did you hear my hip pop? And back. So just rolling forward and back. Dropping down, pushing back. Squeeze, round forward. And you can look on the other side. You turn and look around. Keep everything squeezed. And slowly come back. And then we're going to switch the other side. Bring the leg up and down. And do the same thing. Squeeze the abdominals. Squeeze the legs. Round turn. Look over your... Keep everything squeezed. All right, and then come back to center. From here, we're gonna do some hip circles. So put the feet together, put your hands behind you. Just gonna kind of lean back. You want your chest forward, shoulders down and back. We're just gonna do little tiny circles in the pelvis area. Keep everything squeezed, the legs, the glutes. Gently go around. Two, three, four, Five. Can already feel it. The back of that saw is muscle. And then do the hip flexor. Now we're going to switch direction. Go the other way. Two. Get some adjustment. Three. Four. Five. You might notice one side is harder to do. and eight. All right. From here, we're going to do just a butterfly fold. So you might need some blocks in front. Let's see. Maybe you need to be here. That's okay. Maybe you need to put them underneath your legs. That works too. All right. Wherever you guys need to adjust. Maybe you're stacking it in front. Right, maybe you just need the one. You want to keep your shoulders pressed down and back. Really elongate yourself out here, stretching those inner thighs. From here, we're just going to move left and right. Go your own pace. Push that light from your head down your body. Again, going into all those tight areas. Okay. So you guys should start to feel a lot better just doing this stretching. Let me know in your comments how it feels. Um, <laughs> hopefully you're feeling a big difference. And uh, this is kind of my, my own style of stretching and my workouts. And uh, I hope you guys will try them. They don't do the work and they don't heal you. And you can't heal yourself if you don't do it. So... Sit on your bed, doesn't matter where you are, there's no right age, there's no right shape. And body isn't, or yoga and body movement isn't about having the perfect body, it's just about using what you've got and getting it moving. And then slowly you will start to sculpt and change. And you'll get back to that body that you want. 
Okay, from here we're just going to rotate the shoulders now. We're going to drop the shoulder. Keep everything engaged. Stretch it out and drop the head. Round it up. You're going to feel the tightness in the back. Breathe a light into it. And open up that area. And slowly switch sides. Stretch it in and out. Get to the center. And you can just flow here. Either hold it on one side or flow back and forth. You know, feel it opening your legs. Drop it down. Round your back. Then up and down. Right. Maybe bring it down and walk your hands. To the left to stretch out the right side hip, right hip, and come back onto the other side and stretch that side. Squeeze the core. Whenever you forget, just squeeze it in. And from here, we're just going to come up. And I want you to, I'm just going to do some windshield wipers. So extend the feet down and just drop and drop. And you're going to feel the hips, the sides, wherever you didn't get. That's where it's going to feel. Right. So it's kind of like, I guess it's like a, a road map. You follow the pain and you work on all the areas until it doesn't hurt anymore. So breathe oxygen into it. Keep the muscles engaged. Squeeze everything. Here you can drop down and look over. Deep breath in and out, twist as you exhale. Stretch out those hips. And then back to the other side, same thing. And then really reach around. Okay. And back to center. Take a moment to just come up. And thank yourself for your intentions today. For taking the time to heal yourself. Your body right now is going to... I bet you it feels 100% better. Okay. Anything that you miss, your neck and shoulders are probably really tight. Because we didn't stretch that area today. <clears throat> so you can just do some neck circles to get that going. And you see when you do it, how tight your shoulders are. So uh, if you have time, take time to move into the shoulders. Um, if not, I'll see you guys next practice. And that's where I'm going to start my, my focus is in my neck and shoulders. But the hips and core got a great start today. Keep stretching, everybody. I'll see you next workout.